Hey guys, what is up? It is AJ from Broccoli's Table here, and today, as you can see, we're back on the sticks, and we have a Florida Panthers career mode. Ooh, I got the Panthers t-shirt on. And today, with the big trade going down last night with Matthew Kachuk going to Florida for Uyghur, Huberto, Cole Schwitt, and a first-round pick, I decided let's do a NHL 22 Florida Panther career Matthew Kachuk career simulation. So we're not dealing with anything. We're not doing signings, trades, rosters, lines, besides the original lines I'm going to set up right now, we're not doing anything. We're keeping the cap on. We're just going to see, watch and see what Matty Kachuk does for his entire career in Florida. And then if he moves off Florida, we're kind of screwed, but we can go kind of follow him elsewhere. We can't be fired. So we're just going to see how long Kachuk stays, what he does if he wins the cup. Uh, I don't believe they show all-star appearances, which is kind of annoying. We're going to see what he cooks up. So, we're not going to control anything. We're going to let the simulation do it all, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's not as good as the 2K ones, but we'll make the most of it. So, we're going to just only edit the lines now to put the lines what I said they were going to be in the last video. and They have it on the daily face-off. I'm also looking to do this one as well with Huberto. Huberto will be a little bit easier because he is 29, but it is what it is. So, right off the bat, we're just going to put Verhage, um, yes, would you like to keep, okay. We're going to do Verhage, Barkov, throw Hornquist down to the fourth line, him there, Bennett is a center. I'm not really going to go off chemistry too heavily here, um, what do we have to switch up, that, alright, so this is what the lines are going to be, as of now, Verhage, Barkov, Reinhardt, Kachuk, Bennett, Duclair, because he's going to take over Huber, who was in the second line left wing spot, Balsers, Lundell, Colin White, Lomberg, E2, Lusterine, and Hornquist. Defense is the defense, Forsling, Ekblad, Montour, Mark Stahl, Lucas Carlson, Radico Gudas. So, that's kind of that. We're literally just going to be simming and seeing how good Matthew Kachuk does. We're not going to really watch too many games, uh... Maybe, alright, we'll watch his first game as a Panther, we'll watch his first game against the Flames as a Panther, and then we'll see what they do in the deadline, because I do have them, what's it called, making moves, I don't care about the owner goals, still don't care, uh, hopefully, I don't care about promotion night, hopefully, um, hopefully it's a good, a good few years, uh, so we signed the 8 by 9.5 deal, so we will be simming the next eight years with the Florida Panthers. I still do not care about the salary cap. But once we're done with the first season, this is kind of straightforward. Sim, maybe watch your playoff games. See, look at the stats, add them up. Nothing too crazy. We'll probably only watch a big like game seven and whatnot. But first period, not a good start for the Matthew Kachuk era Florida Panthers. Second period... Uh, he didn't score, but they're down 4-2. And he scored in his debut shorthanded against Tristan Jari. Good for Matty Kachuk. Uh, he put up a whopping total of one goal. One point. 20 minutes. Four hits. They got the grit they've been so, so needing. Uh, personally with the trade, I did already do a video on it. Um... I gave Calgary a little bit too much stick for losing Gaudreau and, what's his face, Gaudreau and Kachuk, sorry, I was trying to get to the game. I gave him a little bit too much crap. Their team, their forward core is alright still. I mean, I love Mangiapane. I really don't like, I don't, why, I said I'm not making the trades. I said, um, I said that they're probably not going to be that good of a team next year. I think they are still probably gonna be a playoff team when I look at it now I do regret saying that they still do have Mangiapane, Elias Lindholm, obviously Huberto uh their defensive core is absolutely insane now with Rasmus Anderson, Mackenzie Wieger, uh Brandon Tanev I don't care about Nick Holden I'm trying to talk here uh Brandon Tanev, Oliver Killington, Noah Hannafin and another player I'm forgetting it wasn't... I forget who's the other one. 
Wow, this is sad. Um, they have a, a top three defensive core, in my opinion. Whoever I'm forgetting, I do apologize. He is a good player. Probably, like, their best one, too. It'd be really funny. I'll definitely put it there, but, you know, dribble mind. Um, yeah, there's still going to be a playoff team. Uh, I think the Oilers are better than them, depending on how Jack Campbell pans out there. If he goes back to really good Jack Campbell, 100% of the Oilers are going to win the division. The Kings are also good. Depends how their prospects are under guys like Turcotte, if he even plays. Byfield, uh, Kellyev, all pan, pan out and play this season. I do think Vancouver will be back. But I still think the Flames should get second or third. If they got first, I, I don't care about Patrick Nemeth. I don't care about Victor Mete. Stop. I'm asking you nicely. I think I did over, maybe over exaggerate the Flames portion of it. Jacob Larson. Wow. Um. I still don't think, it all depends. If Huberto doesn't want to stay there, which he has the right to go try for agency. He's been a Florida Panther his entire career. If he wants to go and try something new out and be like, I want to look at all my options, I don't blame him. He hasn't, it's, he isn't owed to Calgary. He hasn't been there his entire career. Calgary could also flip him at the deadline if they're not a playoff team, but they probably will be looking at it more clearly now. They still probably are in the hunt, if not second or third. So... Yeah, I know some people from Alberta weren't too happy with what I said. I don't want David Perron. We're not making trades. But, you yeah, know, I still don't like their forward core. They do have some good players. Like I said, I don't like Blake Coleman and Mikhail Backlund being a part of your top six. I know that the third line of Jacob, Jacob Pelletier, Sean Monaghan, Dylan Dubé, third line, hit or miss. Monaghan obviously was once really good, fell off. Dubé wasn't bad last year. I think he had 40 points. I don't want to make a trade with you guys. Uh, we'll see what happens. If it works out for them, I'm very happy. I do like Calgary, even though they're not welcoming me anymore. All jokes aside, I hope it works out for Calgary. I'm, I'm going to watch your game, even though I said I wasn't. I like Jonathan Huber, though. They're probably my second favorite Canadian team. And here we go. The Matthew Kachuk against Calgary return. Not return, but... First game. Was it Val Mackey, the other one? Matthew Kachuk scores, though, on his former team. Panthers take the first game of the trade, so they definitely won the trade there. Kachuk, first start of the game with two points. Let me see the other Calgary guy. Is it Val Mackey? I said, oh, Zadorov. Zadorov, okay. Yeah, so Killington, Z yeah, Zadorov, all right. So, Nikita Zadora, that is who I was missing. Uh, but clearly, the Panthers won the trade as they beat the Calgary Flames 3-1 in a simulation of NHL 22. Uh, we'll send the actual Matthew Kachuk return, and then we'll go straight to the end of the season. I'm going to hopefully turn off trades, because I don't want... I don't care about Justin Braun. Let the GM do it. I am just the simulator here. Sorry, I'm not, I guess. And then we'll go back from the other side, for the Panthers' side. Um, all jokes aside with anyone who got upset or commented on my last video from the Calgary fan, fan base. It's all, like, you know, I did overdo it a little bit. I don't think you guys are going to be as bad as I said you were. It all depends on if Huberto stays or not. So if Huberto wants to go and he leaves you, yeah, you trade him, you still get some stuff back but you guys aren't going to be contending if Huberto leaves. I think that's fair to say. And, pff, what are the odds of that? I mean, pretty high. They're the two best players. Kachuk and Huberto both score in the first period. Colin White and Mangiapane. And in the third period, we're going overtime here. Sam Bennett in overtime. The Panthers have won the trade officially. Uh, Mangiapane, three points. Let's see what... Huberdo and Kachuk did. Kachuk got got the one goal. And Huberdo. Hooby dooby doo got two points. Alright, so after the Kachuk game, return game, 
let's go see how the end of the season pans out and we'll see you guys hopefully for the regular season with Matthew Kachuk and we'll go over the stats, look at Huberto's stats and beyond to the playoffs hopefully. Wow. And in a shocking turn of events, the Panthers miss the playoffs going 44-33-5. and They miss by one point from being the third or fourth seed in the Atlantic. And the Rangers had 95 points as the wild card team in the, uh, what's it called? The Metro. Wow. Was not expecting to see that year one. The Flame, and the Flames finished with 81 points as well. So neither team made the playoffs year one. Oof. That's unexpected. Also, Buffalo made the playoffs. Thanks, EA. Shout out, Buffalo. So let's go through the points real quick. Kachuk had 31 goals, 42 points in 73 games. I mean, nothing else really stands out. Lundell had 40. We'll see how he grows a little bit. That was all at 26. Oh, brother. Uh, so, yeah, he had 73, 31 goals. Let's see what good old Jonathan Huberdeau had. 65. That is quite the fall from 115 the year before. Or else, don't get me wrong, video game. It's the video game. I bet, like, Ovi only had 35 goals, if I had to guess. But, you know, you can't compare the video game to what they, the real numbers in real life. But Kachuk did outscore... Jonathan Huberto, so we, like I said, we'll have maybe a design with all the stats up. Uh, let's get right into the next season now. All right, we're here for year two. Let's go see the Florida Panthers lineup. All right, uh, Lundell's in 85 now. That's cool. Uh, we're not going to touch it. We're going to we'll let them run with whatever they want to run with. I don't really care. Uh, they got Gregory Denisenko in the lineup now. They brought back Hornquist. Um, this is a contract. Oh, no, they have him for one more year. Interesting. Uh, everyone else is about the same. Did they pay him yet? No. Everything else looks about the same. Uh, <laughs> they brought in Jack Johnson. Yay! So, Jack Johnson is now... Ooh, Spencer 1985. Jack Johnson is now a Florida Panther. Other than that, everything's basically the same besides Denisenko taking over for someone. Let's check the uh, the scratches real quick. Oh, he takes over for Lomberg. Okay. Not the end of the world. Rip Lamborghini. Good meme if you haven't seen that one. Um, we'll just go to the first Calgary game. Which happens to come in January once again. We play him twice in January again. So, we'll see you then. Alright, and we're here for the first game against the Flames. 17-18-3, they're 16-18-6. We are both not in playoff spots. What a barn burner it has been so far. But let's see who will win round three of... Round three of Kachuk versus Huberto. Herbert up. So the Flames finally get their first win off of the Florida Panthers since the trade. Herbert has one goal. Does Kachuk an assist? He does not. So Herbert is now leading in points as well. 3-2 to two over Matthew Kachuk in the three games they've played. And why is it why is it going like that? And we will also do the other Flames-Panthers game. And we'll talk about the Panthers out of the crate a little bit now. For the Panthers, um, what's it? They get a player that's younger, fits their current timeline a little bit more in Matthew Kachuk. They do give up a better player in Jonathan Huberdeau. Uh, pretty solid top four defenseman. I know we got an off here last year, but he was very underrated before the playoff series where everyone started memeing him. Uh, Coach Schwitt in the first. Uyghur was a goner. Everyone knew he was going to be gone by beginning of the season or the deadline because they had no cap to bring him back. I don't know. It's a lot. Huberto is a very... You're giving up a better player than Kachuk. Not even theoretically. Huberto is a top 13 player in the league. Kachuk is maybe top 25, 30. And 
we all, we got to see how both these guys adapt. I think Kachuk fits more teams and is easier to adapt than possibly Huberto. Huberto is also a star player, though, so he will be controlling and dominating in Calgary. I don't think he's going to regress to a 70-point player, but I'm not saying he's going to get 115 either. Duclair. Kachuk. So let's see if Huberto or Kachuk got an assist as well. They did not. So Kachuk now has three points in four games, and Huberto has four points in three games. Oh, four points in four games. My apologies. He got he gets an assist on the Dylan Dubé goal, but the Panthers now do lead the season ser the series three to one. I know there might have been an over. I think there was an overtime loss in one of them, but we don't got to talk about that. So let's get to the end of the season now, and we'll see where both teams more specifically the Panthers are at all right and we're at the end of year two and once again the Panthers miss out on the playoffs and the Flames miss out on the playoffs not looking hot not looking hot Kachuk is not over a point per game he ends up having 72 points didn't he have 73 last year all right, let's see what Huberto has. Huberto gets 70. Both teams miss the playoffs. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's get into year three. All right, and we're here. Ooh, we have some changes finally. We got Tyler Bertuzzi. All right, so now we got Tyler Bertuzzi. Um, let's see how we got him. Not really. Um, it didn't say his contract, right? No. I thought it did. Weird. Uh, so we got Tyler Bertuzzi now. Colin White's an 85, which is cool. Verhage's an 83, which is quite sad. Lundell's an 86. Um, nothing too crazy besides that. Defensively, we got Artem Zub. They brought back Nudavara. And they got Carson Soucy. And in goal, they got Bob and Knight still. Scratch, Bennett, and they got Alexi Sorella. Interesting. They got a little bit better. They didn't get much better, though, so. Will they make the playoffs? All right, here we go. First game into the Flames. Comes early October. Third game of the season. Fifth game since, this will be the fifth game since the trade happened. Let's see who takes it. Huberto is leading in points right now with four. Kachuk has three and four. Barkov. Um, Huberto, gets, Huberto gets on the board. 5-2 Calgary. Absolute spanking. 5-3 Sam Reinhardt. So, Huberto at least is over a point per game now. But he probably got an assist or two. He had an assist. So now he is... He has six points in five games, while Kachuk has... Kachuk on assist, so he now has, I believe... I said he had four and four as well, or four and th four and three and four. So Kachuk now has four and five. Now, if I got it wrong, I'll fix it down below. No worries. But the next time they play... Is... March, right right before the trade deadline. So we'll go to this one real quick. We'll see how we do. And hopefully in year 2023, 24, the Florida Panthers can once again make the playoffs. Back, beginning of March, 34-21-5. We are second in the division. The Flames are also not in the playoff spot, but we are for a change. So go us. We're not secure by any means yet, though. So let's sim... Round six of Kachuk versus Huberto. Rehagi to Foley. Maddie Kachuk gets on the board. Barkov, Lindholm. Panthers win once again. Kachuk, two point night. And for Calgary, did Huberto finally not. Oh, and Huberto, of course, gets an assist. So that will be a bit down below. Kachuk is bringing it back now with that two point night, and Huberto only getting one point. So. Once again, the Panthers do win, and both players get points. Shocking, I know. Good players get the points. 
We'll see you at the end of the regular season. Hopefully we made the playoffs and yeah, let's go. All right, we finally get to see some playoff action here as the Panthers went 45, 30, and 7, I believe. <coughs> All right, and we finally get to some playoff action as the Panthers went 45, 30, and 7. Did the Flames make it? Nope, they weren't far off, though. So let's quickly look at the stats of the two players, We and then we will then get into, what's it called, the playoffs, finally. Kachuk had 67. Yippee. And Huberto had 63. So Huberto has not outscored Kachuk once yet. But simulation, not real life. Let's see what we do in the playoffs. We're just going to skip the game to watch maybe game seven. Uh, they should be playing probably the Capitals. Half of the no slot. Why, why do we have a back to back in a video game? Come on. They win game one. They win game two convincingly, 6 1. Win game three, 3 2. Will they sweep them? Nope. Taking it back to game five. Back at home. They win game five. Wow, that was. A lot easier than I expected. Now they got to play Carolina in round two. If we ever get there. Crack him in the playoffs. That's kind of cool. Oh, no. We played Toronto. Silly me. All right. So we got Toronto now. I forgot we're on the other side. Wait, but how do we play Toronto? We'd play the winner of the... Oh, no. Okay. So the Capitals. Never mind. Never mind. We're down 2-0. Down to 3 0. Will we get swept? Yes. And that is the end of season three. Season three is in the books officially. Uh, let's look at the playoff stats for Matthew Kachuk. I don't really. Like, I'm also going to. They're down 3 0. We're not going to send every game to hope they come back and make a miracle run, you know? It's just not worth it. Uh, team stats, player stats, player stats in the playoffs. Matthew Kachuk had eight points in nine games. So, solid showing. Only had one goal, though. Is what it is. See you guys next season. All right. Wow. We got Kadri. We're back. Um, I also kind of just realized that we did the 21-22 season again. Not again, but, um, you know, Kachuk's going to be there for 22-23, and he was there for 21-22 in the game, technically. Oh, well. Unlucky. I'm not going to complain about it. It's whatever. The, the, the rosters are updated to the extent we can. But here we are. Uh, that's when I was like, why is Hornquist still here? That was why, because it was 21-22. Uh, but here we are. We got Kadri. E2 is an 85 now. Uh, Dzingle, Nick Obey Kubel, and Saren Knoll. Connor went to an 87. That's nuts also. Lundell an 86. Kachuk an 89 still. He hasn't grown at all. Maybe he was an 87 starting out. We'll see. I kind of forgot already. Took a nice nap because it was 40 minutes for three seasons. So Carson Soucy, Ekblad, Nudavar, Artem Zub, Marco Scandella, Mark Delgazio. Undrafted. Not bad. I took a nap because I'm waiting for the first three parts to 988 to be done. And it's still not even done anything. So it's like, what's the point? Uh, nice nap, though. I won't lie. <laughs> At the very least. So we're in the 24-25 season. Yeah, I was going to edit. Hopefully get more, some more of it done so I, my storage isn't completely combusted. Because I keep forgetting that Matthew Kachuk's 25. I know he's very young. Younger, not very young. But I didn't realize it's probably going to take 12 seasons. Hey, we play Calgary back-to-back, -back, so that'll, that'll help. That'll help. So, like, you're not... This video might be, like, 40 minutes long for you. It's going to take at least three to four hours simming-wise for me. Yeah, I wish I would have started with Hubert though first. I wish I would have thought that one out. Clearly, I don't think much, as probably know by now. 
So we'll see how the Panthers do. Uh, we'll be back for the first two Calgary games. All right, here we go. Back-to-back -back games. Uh, a little over a week apart, but still back-to-back. -back. So right now we are 22-24-2, and two, and we are not in the playoff spot. And the Flames are 21-26-5, and five, and they are not in the playoff spot. So, shocker all around. I mean, it's just the way it's gone so far for the Flames. And we had the one really good year, but... Lundell and Lusterainen. Hurdle, Casas Bear, Kadri Barkov. Interesting. Let's see if anyone added to their point total. Did Kachuk get an assist? Yes, he did. Did Hubro get an assist? I have no clue what the point total is anymore because I literally fell asleep. Hubro did not get a point. Yeah, I knocked out, so I have no clue. Point will be points will be down there. Um. Okay. Thanks, EA Simension. So we're in year twenty twenty five. Quite interesting. But it's in the second one, then let's get right to the end of the season. Where we will once again see if <laughs> the Flames will not make the playoffs. Ebbs. They have Ebbs now. That's kind of cool. Lindholm, Ekblad. Kachuk. The Panthers win again. The Panthers, I mean, yeah, the Flames aren't good in this simulation. We've seen that before. Kachuk scores. Did Huberto get an assist? Huberto gets an assist. All right, the the Panthers are just the better team in the simulation. I don't think that's a debate. That's how it's been. Both teams haven't been that great though. So let's get to the end of the regular season, and then we'll see where both teams once again stand. All right, we once again don't make the playoffs. Shocker. We'll see how we did regular regular season wise. Kachuk had seventy points. Uh, once again, hit the seventy point mark. Still hasn't been point per game once. Better than Barkov, at least there. 57 points. Oh, Barkov got hurt. Okay. It makes sense why they were so bad after having the, their best season so far. So, 70 points. Could Huberto beat that? 79. So, Huberto finally beats um, Kachuk in the point total. Both missed the playoffs. We'll see you back, I guess, for next season. All right, and we're back another season. Uh, let's make the playoffs more than once now. It'd be nice. Let's see any new additions to the team. Uh, we got Jakob Silverberg and Jason Dickinson. All right. Still have Kadri, still have Barkov. Kachuk's still on the team, obviously. Did say how many more years his deal is going for? Four more years, and then he is... The contract's also wrong. It could be 9.5, but whatever. Defensively, Chad Chris. Um, okay. Mikey Anderson, Phil Peronick, and Nick Blankenberg. Interesting. And in goal, we finally got rid of Bob, and we now have Braden Holtby and Spencer Knight. Let's see, so Barkov's still the captain, right? Yeah, obviously Barkov's still the captain. But who am I kidding? So, I mean, a few changes. Nothing too crazy. Nothing bigger than Kadri yet. He's in the best edition so far. Um, when do we play Cal We play Calgary very early into the year. So, I don't know how many news. I might have updates of Kachuk's stats maybe year six or seven. I don't want to do it every year. I'm just adding it up. Because then it's kind of like, you know, we're just adding 70 points every year. So maybe after, not this year, but the next year. We still have a lot of years left. It's probably going to go to 20... What's he? He's 27, 28 now, I believe, in this. So it's probably going to go to, like, 33, 34, I'd guess. Which is nuts, obviously, but... It's going to be a long, long video to edit. That's for sure. And here we are. We got Calgary after we beat Carolina, hopefully. No, we lost 11-2. I changed my shirt again. Yeah. 
this video is going to take a while to do. You cannot do it in one sitting, I swear. <laughs> Vinny hit the shows on Dylan Dubé with two goals. We get smoked for nothing. Is Huberto still there? Huberto's gone. Huberto has left the building. That's a shock. So I guess let's see where Huberto is. All right, after searching really hard to see if Huberto was still there, he is. So, whatever. Um, He might have been just been injured. We'll see if he's playing this game. Uh, if not, maybe he's still injured. But it says he's on Calgary still. He's in 92 overall. Do, uh, yep, yeah, he's still there. He scored on us. Kachuk scored though. Yay! Um, we lose. Season's not going too great for us so far. Once again, we're kind of meh. I mean, you can just see how that team. It's not looking hot. 11-10-1. We're in a playoff spot barely. But now we played Calgary twice. Let's get to the end of the season, and we will see if we made the playoffs or not. And go through the stats like usual. And we once again did not make the playoffs, neither did the Flames, so we both stink. We have one playoff appearance, com appearance combined in the, what are we, five years doing this now? Not good. Not good, EA, not good. Let's see if Kachuk Steven on the team, hopefully got traded. He did not, 67 points in 82 games. It just keeps going down and down. And Huberto put up 61, so I guess not that much better. They have Hurdle now, though. What? Interesting. So, another unsuccessful season. Let's go to the next one and see if it gets any better for uh, Matthew Kachuk. All right, and we're back with another season. Let's see if we have any new signings, if Kachuk's still here. Yep. Uh, We have Otto Koiva. Oh, my God. We're never going to be serious. <laughs> That's really funny. Cole Schwitz now on Florida. They traded him for Matt in the Matthew Kachuk trade. Uh, Mackie Samskovic. Samskovic. We got Mason Appleton. Undrafted. Interesting. Defensively, Travis Dermott. Rasmus Anderson and is playing with Mikey Anderson. Nick Gladi with uh, Phil Bronick. Ekblad still there, obviously. And Caden Imberco. Okay. Okay. I cannot believe Otto Koivula is on the Florida Panthers in the, the great year of 2026. When do we play Calgary? Hopefully Huberto is still there. We play them in early December, I think. See you then. All right, first game against the Flames. They're a lot better than us this year. 12-11-3, and we are 9-13-5. Uh, once Huberto leaves the Flames, if he goes to an Eastern Conference team, we're not simming every game, obviously. Maybe we will. I'd rather not, though. Barkov, 2-0. Barkov, 3. Barkov, Hattrick. Who we do we do? We win. The Panthers win 4-2. How many uh, apples did Kachuk get? Well, we're not looking at Kachuk looking Hoover to host team. They got Kreider? They just keep on adding guys. They're still not that good, though. Uh, Kachuk with three assists there, so add that to the column. All right, second game against Calgary. We turn the season around a little bit, but will it be enough to beat the Flames once again? Let's see if Kachuk can stay, stay hot. Otto Koiva. And Nick Luddy, the former Islanders. My first Islander reference of the entire video. So, I didn't see if Kachuk got any points. Because I look, he didn't get any points. He Otto Koi was on the fourth line. And the other one was a shorthand goal. So, he didn't get any points there. Neither of them got a point there. Let's get into the end of the season. See if we made playoffs. And go through the end of the year stats. We once again missed the playoffs. Over 500, 38, 35, and 9. Miss the playoffs again, and the Flames also miss the playoffs again. Nice. So we'll look through the stats. 
this has been brutal. Barkov only put up 66 points. Kachuk either got hurt or traded. If he got traded, I'm not going to complain at this point. He put up 55 points. How old is he now? He's 29 years old. He's regressed massively. Oh, that's not good. He's 29. Hopefully, he has a few more years left. Let's see um, if Huberto is still there. 75 points for Huberto. I mean, numbers don't lie. Huberto's still producing at a high pace. Despite being a four or five years older. Not ideal. So, we'll see you guys in the next season. Through his first six seasons as a Florida Panther in the simulation, he's played 492 games, got 160 goals, 244 assists for 404 points. He hasn't missed a game, and he's been really, really good, but the team has not found any success in the postseason yet. All right, we are once again back with another season. It's another day, another morning, another shirt's on. <laughs> Let's see how the team looks now. Ooh. Okay, so we got Zadina. We got Poo Harvey. Uh, I don't know who this is. Nick Abruzzi. Abruzzi. I don't know. Riley Damien. I don't know. Windows in 86. Nothing out of the normal there. Nate Schmidt. Tori Krug. Calvin DeHaan. Josh Brook, and is Holtby still here? No, Philip Lindbergh. Is he a draft pick? No, he was a draft pick, not our draft pick, is what I meant to say. All right, let's get to the first Calgary game then. All right, and we're here at the first Calgary game in November. Huberto's still there, I had to check. So let's get right into it. Let's see if we can once again beat the Calgary Flames, but a 6-3, no, not a bad start, it's also nine games, so, does it matter? Lindbaum, Lind, Lindholm, not Lindbaum, Lindholm, Hurdle, and Lightning McQueen. Poirier, Anderson, Barkov, McQueen, who the hell is McQueen? A bruise I know, it sounds like I'm saying a bruise E, but... No clue how to say his name. Um, 6-4, we win. Huberto had one point. Kachuk had one point. Thrilling. All right, so we're in towards the end of February, and this looks like it's starting to also be a bust once again. We're over 500, but we're eight points out. Same thing every time. Poor Chucky. Poor Chucky. Calgary's a little bit better than us, but are they going to make the playoffs finally? Maybe. Huberto. Thompson. Burt. Thompson. Jersey. Huberto only had one goal. Only, but yes, one goal. And Kachuk had nada. Let's see if Florida can finally make the playoffs again. See you then. Wow, and in a sudden turn of events, we barely sneak into the playoffs. They went on quite the run to end the year and beating, winning these last three games. Wow, I was not expecting that one to come. Uh, the Flames are also in the playoffs, so, finally, they both make the playoffs, maybe they can play each other in the Cup. Barkov put up 90 points. Is Kachuk still on the Panthers? 72 points, another solid season from him. And Huberto put up 63, his age is starting to show. His age is finally starting to show. I guess until the playoffs now. And they got to be saying those words this year, this season at least. All right, and we're playing Toronto game uh, series one. I don't like it. They owned us in the regular season, but it's the playoffs. Anything could happen. Some of the first two games because they're back to back. In a video game, they're back to back. 
Alright, we split 1-1. One, one. That's not bad. You always want to split on the road. Oh, we lose 8-1 game 3. You don't want to lose 8-1 game 3. Yeah, we're cooked. Yep. Alright, we're losing 6. I right, it was... It's Toronto. They're a lot better than us. Uh, the Flames also were cooked round 1. Kachuk had five points in six games, though, so playoff stats, yeah. All right, we'll see you when next season starts up. All right, and we're here. Year eight. Wow, Willie. Willie Nylander. Got Gurionov as well with an 87. Uh, Scott Lawton. William Carlson, interesting, and uh, Roger McQueen. Defensively, Dermott, Lucas Johansson, no clue. John Marino, and the rest is the same. Goaltending should be the same, right? Oh, Spencer Knight has left the building. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well for us if Edgar Layton and Philip Lindberg are our Cold 10 days. So, see you at the Calgary game. Alright, so we're at an even 50 points. Once again, playing Calgary in January. 21, 21, and 8. They're really good this year. 30, 15, and 2. We'll see. We're not in the playoff spot right now. We're 500, obviously. Let's see what we can do. Second period. Who be do we do? We lose two one. So we don't have to check the Calgary stats because we scored both goals. And Kachuk did nada. Is he even playing? Yeah, he played. Okay, I was making sure he wasn't traded or injured. He wasn't. Breaking news. Let's get into the next game against Calgary. Hopefully, it'll turn a little bit better for us. Back again, real quick. I think it was like three weeks since the last Calgary game. So let's sim it. Let's check the stats and let's get to the end of the season because this one looks like it's going to be a bust so far. Ekblad has two goals. Scott Lawton, what a 3 2 win for the Panthers. Not terrible. Huberto had. They have Sidney Crosby. Dang. Huberto did nada. And Kachuk did. Two assists. Attaboy, Maddie. Not bad. Not bad. We'll see you guys at the end of the season here. Wow. Wow, and we barely sneak into the playoffs again with 90 points. I didn't think we were going to make it, but we beat Tampa, which shouldn't have happened. But it did. All right. Willie Nee leads the team in points, 77. Let's see what Barkov and Kachuk got. Kachuk got 70. Another solid performance. He missed the game finally for them. So his Iron Man streak is broken. And Huberto had 69-69. Nice. Let's see who we're playing the first round now. At the During year 8 now. The 28-29 season. Alright, so once again we are playing Toronto. Let's see what happens if we can beat them this time. They are, are... Oh, up to nothing against Toronto. They've owned us up until now. 2-1, uh, let's not get too cocky. Let's not get too cocky. 3-1. If it goes to 7, I will... It doesn't go to 7, 4-1. Nice and easy. We're on to round 2. Haven't said that in a long time. And we're playing Tampa now. Great. Playing Tampa. Uh, some of the first two games. Uh, loss, win. Alright, you split. That's fine. Game three. Win. We're up 2-1 now. So, that's fine. We split game four. What's in game five? Game six. We'll... We have a game seven. We'll sim it because we haven't had a cool playoff game once yet. 
could Matthew Kachuk be him in Game 7? Nah, Cole Schwint can. We're cooked. 3-1. Uh, yeah, we lose. 3-1. We'll see what we did in the playoffs. Uh... I don't think Calgary made it. Oh, Calgary did make it, make it, but they were knocked out first round again. Shucks. But let's see the playoff points so we can have that at the end of Kachuk's career also. Looking at the regular season points, I wish I knew how to click the controller. Alright, so let's look at the playoff points right here. Player stats. Not a terrible showing from the team, and Kachuk had 13 and 12, so it was over a point per game in the playoffs. You can't ask for much more. They took him to seven. It's fine. We'll see you guys at the start of next season. In a sudden turn of events, Hubro's retired. Um, so he's finishing his career with almost 1,230 games played. He put up over 1,000 points. He had a great career. Let's see if we could look at any of the stats. And I think we can full career stats. So he played, what was it, eight years for Calgary before retiring? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. He had a good career. His highest point totals as a flame was 79, I believe, right? So we don't have to watch the Calgary games anymore. Which I'm not complaining about. But yeah, that's the end for Jonathan Huberto's run in this career simulation. So we have that now. So now it's just Matthew Kachuk, full steam ahead. Let's see what we can do. All right, we're back again. Another season. Uh, now that Hubro's retired, just looking at the team and getting to the end of the year now. So let's see. Uh, Kachuk may or may not have signed a new contract. He still is here, thankfully. We got Bo Horvat now. Uh, Samanov, Riley Schaefer, Reed Schaefer, Nico Sturm, Dryden Hunt still in the league. Oh, boy. Um, let's see if Kachuk signed a new deal. He did. Seven years, 10.3. Looks like he'll be a Panther for life. Uh, Valamaki. Topi Nyoma. Nyoma. And Corson Kulamans. Goalies, we got Tristan Shari now. And Philip Gustafson. Alright, team. Not bad. So, Huberto's, Huberto's done. Barkov's probably on his way out soon. That means Matthew Kachuk will probably be getting the C sooner rather than later. He also probably won't be playing past 33. That'd be my guess right now. The the year 33. He might. He might not. We'll see. We'll get back to you at the end of the year. Alright. Uh, another season. Another playoffless year. So, we've made it three times in total now out of nine. Out of nine, yeah. 80 points, once again, not good enough. Let's see what Kachuk did, because now his entire career, we played in Florida, more than likely. He led the team. All right, so we only have to look at the stats. He led the team with 73 points, 26 goals. I'll see you guys in the next year. That was quick. Here we are. We're at the 2030-2031 season. Shocking, I know. So, let's look at the lines, see what changes they made, and let's see... Kachuk doesn't have that many more years left. Like I said, I think he has maybe four or five, maybe six. How old are they now? 31? 32 years old. He's not playing past 36, in my opinion. 90 overall. Highest player on the team now. Uh, got Bo Horvat. Uh, who's Love? Rod Love, Cesar Pair, and Wilson Kessler. Love Pair of Kessler. Uh, Bermuda Shirov is a new guy. Is he a first round pick? No. I've, have we had a first round pick that's actually pent well, there? 2030 first round pick. Third round pick. Uh, another first round pick. Yay! Finally, our picks for being so bad. Finally working. Marcus Phillip, Kevin Ball, Rasmus Anderson. Alright. Uh, goalies, who do we got? We got Spencer Knight back. Where did he go? He went to San Jose. He's like, screw it, I'm coming back. The return. That's cool. Um. And Stuart Skinner is our backup. So, that's that. We'll see you at the end of the season now. Alright, another season in the books. Another 
time we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, we were one of the worst teams in hockey this time. Uh, we were, we'll show our record. I know I, I passed it by accident. We were really bad. We were the second worst team in the division. Kachuk had 68 points, et cetera, right there, so we really don't got to get into it. Let's see if he's still here next year. Hopefully they trade him. Hopefully we get a little more action going. I know we signed here long term, but let's see. All right, we're once again back. Let's see if Kachuk's still here. Let's see the lines. I know Barkov didn't retire. I'm not going to show... Um, I don't think I'm going to show you if Barkov retires because it's not really that important to the video. All right, so we have Kachuk, Barkov, Nylander... McQueen became an 87, wow. Zadina, Wendell, Quim Costin, Travis Boyd, uh, Sm Ty Smilanic, Smilanic, I believe. He's 30, that's nuts. Lawson Krause is 34. Kachuk's now 33. Interesting. Roger McQueen, 87. Brant Clark, that's a really good pickup. Ekblad somehow still in the league at 35. Derek Jenkins, probably a first round pick of ours, yep. Uh, Darius Benda. Oh, their first round pick this year. And Noah Juleson. Wow, he's still in the league. Alright, so that's the team. We'll see you at the end of the year. Alright, so not only do we have a great season and made the playoffs, we won the division, and did we even win the President's Trophy? We did not. But we went 46, 25, and 11, by far our best season, and this isn't the first time we have expectations head into the playoffs. Let's go through the stats before we get into the playoffs. And Kachuk had 84 points in 82 games. Probably his second or third best season while he's been here. We'll take it. No complaints from me. Better than the 68 points he put up that one year. All right, and we're playing the Montreal Canadiens. So, I mean, this is the first time all sim we have expectations in the playoffs. And let's see if we could, you know, not choke. Game one. Oh my goodness. We lost game one and two by a combined score of 12 to 4. Quick math. All right, we won game three. <laughs> Don't choke. Game six. Knocked out in the first round by the Canadians. How do you lose 12 to four in the first two games? Kachuk point per game player we move on to next year unless he retires all right so here's the team for this year we got kachuk lundell is now the top line center and jackson hallam okay we got zadina barkov zachary lahurix i believe was a national pick lahurix i don't know how to say his name i'm pretty sure it's lahurix we got bo bomba another former islander uh mcqueen travis boyd we got Bellows, we got Gabe Velarde too. Another former Islander. Bellows, we got Velarde and Red Savage. On defense, we got Scott Morrow. Alright. We got uh, Darius Benda. Brent Clark. Uh, Captain Roger. Ekblad and, uh, you know, Namella. And in goal, we have Spencer Knight and Caden M. Barrico. Didn't we have him before? He also went, well, he bounced around everywhere. We had him. He went to San Jose, uh, Arizona, AHL, Washington, AHL. Now he's back here. So, we'll see you at the end of the year. All right. And another failed season, 36-40-6. They do really good one season, shit the bed the next. This has been a consistent theme here. It is what it is. Let's see what uh, Kachuk did. He, ooh, that's not good. I mean, obviously the team is bad, but Lundell only had 69 points. Nice, but he led the team. 
Ooh, Kachuk put up 55. He is 35, to be fair. To be fair to him. But still. After putting up 84 last year, season went really downhill. So, we'll see you guys next season if he doesn't get traded. All right, let's look at the lines real quick. Um, Kachuk's like 35, 36. I guess to retire soon. Oh, that's not good. Lundell and McLean are gone. So, Kachuk, Shram will go with Eichel. Sedina, Lahurix, Barkov, Koivler, Red Savage, uh, Sarah Noel, or Noel, Eric, Erickson, Stars pick, um, Tjarnquist, Bo. Ooh, like, hey, fair brother, I don't know what happened to the other guy. Clark, Namella, Roger, Ad Kalen Addison, and Benda, and Knight Gustafson. So, that's that. Let's get right into the end of the season, I guess. All right, so we once again missed the playoffs, 41, 35, and 6. Not a bad year, 88 points. We just missed the playoffs, but still missed the playoffs. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, let's see what we've got stats-wise. Schramm had 83 points. All right, I mean, sure. Eichel, 65. Kachuk at 61. Not bad. Is what it is. Let's get into next season, or let's see if he retired. This could be it right here. Kachuk might be done. He's done. It's over. He retired before Barkov retired. Wow. What a career for Matty Kachuk. Over a thousand points, over 1,400 games played, 448 goals, 717 assists. Wow. It's over. I believe we can check his player stats still. Full career stats. We're going to do a page after this. Fully dedicated. Not a page, but um, a slide fully dedicated to all his Panther stats. So he played it for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 13 seasons. Wow. We got his playoff stats here too. So that's nice. I can just add all the stats up. We'll do his Panther stats, his total stats, yada yada. I know you'll see the stats there, but I want his stats just as a Panther as well. Because that's the whole point of the video. They have preseason stats too. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go look at the record books. Wow, I'm shocked. I thought we had another year or two with him. I think I said 2023, 20, 24 he was going to retire. But what a career it was for Matthew Kachuk. Did not win a cup. Did not ever make a cup. But, oh, Barzal's a coach now. Wow, that's sad. Barzal's retired. Wow. Let's look at the records. Um, come, let's end it. Come on, stop simming. Thank you. We don't have to sim. The video's over. The video's done. Uh, I do want to look at the stats against Huberto. As well, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that in my free time. Uh, let's see if he did any NHL records. I doubt he did it though. No, no, Barkov might get games played. Um, goals, no, no, nope, nope, nope. All right, nothing there. Uh, in a season, nope, 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 nope. 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 Nabokov. Nice. Um, anyone cool as a rookie that we would know or don't know? No. All pretty standard. Look at Barzal. My guy. Uh, franchise. We'll also go through... Let's go through Calgary's first. Let's see if uh, Huberto did anything. Oh, that's not... Silly me. So, yeah, he wasn't a rookie there, but in the games, did he do anything? Nope. Career-wise, did not sadly leave a mark on the history books. Season-wise, he just never existed, apparently. No, I'm kidding, of course. Um, for us, Matthew Kachuk, season-wise, 
nothing. Wow, Strom broke <laughs> the assist record year one. That's funny. Um, that's not you. We don't see him career wise, maybe. Nada, nothing there. But I mean, obviously, Barkov holds almost everything. Shocker, I know. 521 goals for Barkov. Wow. I mean, he's been there for 20 years, but rookies, no, obviously, games. Nothing for Kachuk, too, so that's going to end it. That's the video. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll do this for uh, Huberto as well, but wow, that was a long video. Hope you guys stayed and watched most of it. If you don't, I don't blame you. It's going to be over an hour long, but peace out, everybody. Have a good one. So Matthew Kachuk's career as a Panther lasted for 1,059 games. He scored 305 goals, got 549 assists, and scored a total of 854 points. And for the head-to-head -head stats between Matthew Kachuk and Jonathan Huberto, they both played 15 games against each other. Matthew Kachuk had 6 goals, 10 assists, and 16 points. And Jonathan Huberto had 8 goals, 6 assists, and 14 points. So in conclusion, Matthew Kachuk is clear of Jonathan Huberto. I mean, the sim was unsuccessful for both. Uh, Huber only made the playoffs once. Kachuk made it, I think, three to four times and did really nothing too crazy in the playoffs besides being a point per game. You know, never made it to the Cup. Never even made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. But it was a fun simulation. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know the quality wasn't the best at the beginning, but I, for the next one, I'm going to do Huberto. It'll be a lot better, so I do apologize about that. But hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody.